Donald Trump is following through on campaign promises to increase tariffs. He announced plans to increase them by 25% on products imported from Mexico and Canada. This could increase the cost of everything from produce to gas to cars. 13 On Your Side's Micah Cho spoke to an auto industry expert today about the potential impact on the state's biggest industry. He joins us now from the newsroom, Micah. Well, Julianne, we spoke with Mike Wall. He's an auto analyst at S&P Global Mobility and broke down the auto industry side of things, saying some in the auto industry believe the former president could be using the threat of tariffs as a negotiating tool. That said, if they are actually enacted, could the impact could be significant. Now, Wall says the auto industry and the three co countries are all interconnected with parts and products coming back and forth across the border four or five times before the product is finished. That means manufacturers would pay the tax multiple times, significantly increasing the cost of a new vehicle. Wall says one possible silver lining, some manufacturers could decide to relocate some of their work back to the United States. Possibility, certainly, and that's another maybe would be viewed as a positive byproduct. The challenge there is that takes a little longer. I mean, that's a, that there's ten, tip, technically and typically a longer runway to that. So the immediacy of a tariff clamps down right away. The the changes that it might affect can take a little little longer to materialize. Now, as for auto parts manufacturers in West Michigan, Wall says the industry will most definitely feel the effect, as will consumers, with the price of parts used to repair their car will also increase. Now, in response to the threats, Mexico is threatening to impose a 10% tax of its own. Canada says it will work with a new administration to find a solution. Juliet. Thank you, Micah.